I got. I, um, I'm pushing through today. That's what I'm doing, pushing through. Pushing through a lot of stuff. A lot has transpired this morning. Maybe I'll catch you up to speed. Maybe I'll just give you little bits because explaining all of it would just be too much. It would be a lot for you to take in at once and I don't wanna do that to you, okay? So, I don't know where to start. I'm gonna do some food prep today, even though half my day is over. I, I had plans to and then, you know, things spiraled out of control. Um, our contractor came by this morning. That's one of the tidbits. Uh, really, it's the architect that's under fire today. Okay, I'll maybe, oh, but there is some exciting stuff happening too. So, you know, pros and cons. You can't have good without the bad, or can you? Not in my life anyway. <laughs> and it seems like if one thing goes wrong, it's like a domino effect where like a hundred other things go wrong. I'm like, does this happen to anyone else? Or do things just go? I don't know what that's like. Anyway, laundry today. Um, I think Alex threw a load in before he left this morning. So that's good because yesterday, Avelina got raspberry mush on in her lunchbox. And so, and you know what? People say like, oh, become minimalist. I'm glad that I had an extra lunchbox on hand to give to her. Otherwise she'd be going to school with like raspberry mush on her lunchbox or a really damp lunchbox that I would have cleaned this morning. Is that the secret? Like minimalists have their life together because Really, I should have checked her lunchbox yesterday, or she she normally does. It's the beginning of the school year. We're still getting into the routine. She norm uh, The kids normally empty their lunchboxes when they get home from school. It didn't make it to the kitchen yesterday. So this morning, I had to check on it, saw the raspberry mush, needs to go in the laundry. But if I would have seen it yesterday, I would have thrown a load in. I wouldn't have thrown a load in, but if I had my life together, I would have thrown a load in. And then this morning her lunchbox would have been cleaned, but that's not my life. And that's precisely why I'm not a minimalist. So short story long, I've got laundry to do. I also need to reload the dishwasher because, not reload it, load it, complete, or start it, because it apparently, 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 did not get started last night. What the heck was I thinking? I don't know. The good news is I have the dishes from the day to add too. The bad news is I don't think they're going to fit, but I'll make them, I'll make them fit. There's no way this is gonna get clean. There's something stuck, I'm just gonna leave. It's good enough. And here we go. Wash my dishes, please. And then, you know, I just, this morning I had a piece of this, no regrets, some slight regret. I had a piece and then I left the fork there, so you know how that goes, like one bite at a time. I think the real problem is I just need to hydrate. Gotta fill it back up. Don't forget to hydrate, okay? It purifies the soul. Cheers, cheers to you, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Better than mine anyway, which is very likely. I don't even think I told you, we've had Sicko kiddos here. Sicko kiddos. You know, like back to school germs and all of that, which is fine, pros and cons. It's like, I guess I'll talk to you about that a little bit later. I'm looking around for a list that, oh, I did make a list, wow. Oh gosh, see, I didn't even finish editing the video that I needed to this morning. Let me make sure that, oh crap. Okay, two things. Let me make sure that Meredith's school clothes are in the wash, and then second thing, I didn't throw this in the wash, the, whatever that's called, the dishwasher. And I've been meaning to try it out. I got these labels. Oh gosh, and I need to paint my nails. How do people keep it together? I'm over here just like hanging by a thread, just barely hanging on. One day, I thought, you know what? They're gonna go back to school. It'll be seen. I, okay, anyway, more on that later. There's still carrots in here. Someone's gotta eat them. I wanted to throw this in. I got these labels. They're supposed to be like wash proof and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna throw it in and see. Perfect. Okay, you know what? At the beginning of the day, good. This load, is her lunchbox even in here? Okay, good. Did the raspberry stain come out? Oh, that's a miracle. Look at that. I doubt he even put like a stain remover on it. All right, these are dirty. Definitely not even a full load. I'm sure I have dirty clothes around the house that I can gather. So anyway, I woke up this morning thinking, oh, today's gonna be great. Today is like, the kitchen's clean, so nice. The house is kind of tidy. But did someone have a pocket of sand? I got a pocket, got a pocket full of sand. So anyway, as the day progressed, 
I just, it was one thing after another where I realized I absolutely do not have my life together, not even a little bit. So this is me taking steps to ensure tomorrow is a little more seamless. And I don't even know if it's like anything I can do. I'm just frustrated about stuff with the addition. I'll tell, it's it's new news, <laughs> not, well, it's kind of old frustrations, but the solutions are not happening. But the good news is they're working on the tile in the bathroom, so I can hear the, the saws going and stuff. So I'll bring you out there to give you a little sneak peek. So that'll be something to look forward to. Oh, I'm also not feeling that great, but mom does not get a sick day, right? It's like back to school germs are infecting me, and I'm like, oh, I can't deal. But at the same time, I got to. We got a deal. We got to push through. Push through. I told you. We're pushing through today. We'll do this later, but I feel like the pile will look significantly smaller. What is that like the smallest load of laundry we've ever done? One time someone told me that the amount of clothes I put in my washing machine uh, it bothers them. They used a word. I don't remember what word. Triggered them in some kind of way. That's okay. It all gets clean, kind of. Eleanor's got some clothes. Although not many, I feel like we've been doing a good job keeping on top of it. He does have a robe in here. Eleanor is that girl. She's like the girl I wish I was. All right, third load The laundry going in. What, you call that full? Barely. Oh. I'm getting my life together one load at a time. One step ahead of the hum -hum. What are the words there? One step ahead of the sword. I steal only what I can't afford. And that's everything. All right, let's get it pumping. All right, I was nap trapped a lot this morning, so I started scrolling recipes. Which, by the way, how are your mornings going? Are your kids back to school yet? Are your mornings seamless? Or do you feel like you have a little bit more time on your hands? Because I feel the absolute opposite of that. Are you ripping my book? Whatever keeps him happy. Did you know that on Instagram, when you go to save stuff, I'll show you. It's kind of like Pinterest, where if you see a reel or a post or whatever and you wanna save it, you can categorize them. I just realized this. So now I'm, I'm trying to like go through and categorize. Most of them in, is just in like all posts, but I do have a food one, and then sometimes I forget that it exists. I forgot that you existed, and I said, da -da -da -da, but I didn't. I don't know the words to anything, mostly because I'm so drained. And I thought that it would kill me, but it didn't. <laughs> what constitutes as dead, though, honestly? What is normal? Oh. Kidoki, this is not the recipe I wanted. What am I making? I'll make this later, maybe. It is Elise Ellis's chicken Alfredo, macro friendly. It's on her Instagram, so it's free recipe for you. Guess I didn't save it. <laughs> well, while we're here and just going through, I found this woman on Instagram, and my gosh, is she a Pantene Pro model or what? What the heck is that? Some people just get blessed with the great hair gene. Like red hair and volume. The heck? Not fair. <laughs> okay, found it. Do you wanna see what I'm making? Oh, someone's at the front door. <laughs> Again. Okay, well that was actually good. It was our internet guy because just another thing that happened today, our internet went out. It just affects everything. I'm trying to upload, I'm like, what the heck? Our internet goes out so much you'd think we live in the mountains. It is Florida. Like. This, what do they call that? Zero sea level? Zero, I don't even know. Zero, zero. Zero miles above the sea. Zero <sighs> sea level. <laughs> what is it called? Zero percent? Zero feet? Feet, it's gotta be feet. Okay, we're getting, <laughs> we're getting closer. Oh, I'm pretty sure I got a sinus infection. This is, this is what I'm gonna throw together. I've done it before. It's really simple. I forgot to, buy the right stuff. No surprise there. I almost bought the right stuff and then I thought, no, that's not right. Well, it was. So just some hash browns. You know, use what you have, honestly. It does, it's all interchangeable. Sausage, eggs, revolutionary. Someone tell me why there's a pop it in my fridge. Some tortitis, some egg whites and cheese. And that's all she wrote. I wanted to make these a while ago. And I just, like every day something happens, I'm like, oh, I'll make them tomorrow, or the next day, or whatever, and then days go by, and I'm like, when is the sausage even good for? It doesn't even matter, because I took, oh, June? June, but I took it out of the freezer. Ugh, where are my knives? This will work. So I'm just doing it today. I'm just doing it and living my life. Cook up the sausage. 
You could use ground beef, but why would you? It's less flavorful. Done. So I'm just going to transfer it into a bowl, trying to keep as much grease in here as possible to cook the hash browns. And these are nice, chunky potatoes, so I'm gonna throw just enough to cover the bottom here, and then cook these up. Oh! You got leaned over because Wolfgang's playing with pots and pans. These also have peppers and onions in it too. While that's cooking behind me, I'm gonna throw in a... Oh, really? <laughs> this, this is how my day has been going. What the crap? All right, make it work. I'm throwing in a pint of egg whites. I'm gonna make so many breakfast burritos, I'm not gonna know what to do with them. Watch, it makes like four. <laughs> and then I'm going to add six eggs, full eggs. Three, four, is that a shell? Oh heck, it's in there. This is the proper way to fish it out. That's how they taught me at Cordon Bleu. Six, I'm gonna do eight. Did I say six? I don't give a crap. I could even do nine if I felt like it. I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper and then whisk it up. Oh, is that another shell? Oh heck, I'm the worst. I saw it, where is it? Oh, I gotta go back in there. There it is. Follow me for all the cooking tips. This is probably burning. Ooh, perfectly golden. I'm gonna set this aside too. Now it's time to cook the eggs. I'm going to add in a little bit of butter. It's a lot of eggs, okay? Don't judge me. I'm just gonna throw all the eggs in here and then scramble them up. The eggs are spilling out everywhere. See, if I had my life together, I would have ran my dishwasher last night and I'd have the bigger pan to cook everything in but I don't. Just when they look like this, you wanna take them off the heat so they don't overcook. So this will be the inside of the burritos. Oh, and a little bit of cheese. So super simple. I'm just throwing it into a bowl, incorporating all of it, and this'll make a lot. I can, I'm probably gonna throw some in the freezer too. These were fantastic. I was worried that the sausage wasn't done, but I'm pretty sure it was, and I ate a couple, and I'm not sick yet in that way, so I think we're in the clear there. Also, my gosh, I'm editing this a couple days later, and, well, at least I hope I feel a little better now. Not I, I hope I feel a little better. I hope I sound a little better. I'm listening to what I was just saying, and I was like, oh my gosh, I sound so sick. I was sick. Man, oh man, do moms get sick days? Absolutely not. Do I, like... Do we get a chance to just rest on the bed? Oh, man. Not, mm -mm. not when you're, what's the saying? Not when you're running a household. That's not the saying, but I can't think of it. So there's that. Uh, I, I don't know what the saying is, but I'm trying to think of like three of them and nothing is coming to mind. That's fine. Mom, I don't get a break. I shouldn't say moms don't get a break. I just feel like I, like what, what? It doesn't matter if you're sick you just push through I'm trying to show you what the burrito looked like I took a bite out of it it's fine anyway it's been two days I'm feeling fine I feel fine but I I still realize that I probably sound a little sick and nasally that's just life I'll get over it we all get sick sometimes and then we get over it let's take a short break from uh, meal prepping and stuff and yes we are in the addition so I do have some updates for you good and bad I'm gonna share the good news first because it is exciting. What the heck is happening here? Whatever, it doesn't even matter. Exciting stuff. Past couple of days, there's been some people here working at, in the bathroom. I told you last time with when I shared a house update with you, which I shared like big, like I mean, pretty big. We've got walls and stuff, we've got doors, we have uh, baseboards and outlets and so not really outlets but like wires and so the past couple of days oh it looks so good i haven't been in here uh well i mean i like poke my head in when they're working and say hi and all that good stuff but oh okay uh, hold on i need to i need to measure something what where this is the bathroom exciting times so i'm gonna swing you around it's looking good today our contractor came by oh first of all tile that's the tile uh, in the shower it goes up it's gonna go up 10 feet 
The ceilings are, I think, 12 feet, so it will have some space, but like 10 feet is a lot for the, the tile to go up. And then the guy's building out a bench. He said it, I don't know if that's uh, wet or whatever, so I'm not gonna step on it, but he said it's gonna come out 18 inches because this is really deep and we were gonna put the niche box here But then I just thought you know the shower head is over here So that might be a long way to go to get your shampoo and stuff. I don't know. This is a, a very large uh, Shower, so we decide. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I guess we should have specified how big we wanted the niche box. Oh My heavens. Yeah, I definitely should have specified. So I guess that's the little niche box I'll show you how much tile we bought for it. And if you can see tile, I'm trying to show you, I can't walk in there. Okay, here, here's a good shot of it with the lighting in the back. Well, can you even see it? So this is where the, the uh, you know plugs will be, but this is the tile. You can kind of see it. it does have gray in it. It does have a little movement. It's not stark white. The grout is gray, hallelujah, because cleaning and all that good stuff. So um, I am disappointed by the size of that niche box, but that's my fault. I didn't specify like how big it was going to be. I just assumed, uh, and you know what happens when you make assumptions. Anyway, it's coming along and I couldn't be happier about it. It looks like just white walls, but it's not. Maybe I'll get some of this red in. Okay, now I'm sweating. I'll show you the niche box tile, which seems to be a heck of a ton of it. There are four sheets here and it was a pretty penny. Okay, here's the niche box. Tile. I wanted to it to be gray. It kind of matches the bathroom and white gray and white That's like, okay, you know neutral ish. So loving this this costs a lot of money <laughs> And we're gonna have like two extra sheets initially I thought we would have two niche boxes But the wall that I envisioned it on which is the back wall of the shower It's an outside wall so they can't it's like cinder blocks so they can't dig into it which I didn't know, you know, design and stuff. I didn't go to school for this, clearly. All right, and then the second thing, the bad news. Remember when I told you guys this was a load-bearing wall? And that's something that the architect didn't catch? <laughs> I could literally cry, I'm so frustrated. So it's been months since they found out it was load-bearing, okay? The architect ghosted us, I'm not joking, it's been a nightmare. So today, he came up with a solution for the problem. Oh, isn't he just the best? Uh, except for that solution will cost roughly 30 grand. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm not joking. I talked about, oh, having a header, but there's already one there. It's like, it's so complicated. It's so above my pay grade. I don't understand. Obviously, we're getting a second opinion from a different architect to see if there's anything else that we can do because what they want to do right now is cut out a 36 by 36 inch square on either side. The problem with that is, on either side is flooring to Avelina's room, hallway flooring, and then laundry room flooring. Three different kind of flooring, three different kind of rooms that we're digging into. That's like, uh, I don't have the stuff to match. Am I gonna have to redo all the floors? All this stuff. And then putting the footing in or whatever it's called itself is such a nightmare. I can't, I, I, mm, mm -hmm. I have a couple more things to say about it. So clearly that solution is kind of bonkers, right? So we're sitting there with our contractor trying to like figure out a different solution, see what the heck else is possible. And it's like, well, first of all, I started the day and there wasn't a very large mountain and now there's still a load in the dryer I have to load up here too. So anyway, that's life. So the drama with that is obviously he should have caught that it was a load bearing wall. Our contractor pulled up the original blueprints and he's like, well, it's right here. So, needless to say, somebody made a mistake and like, I don't, this project is already costing us uh, so much more than what we initially planned for. So we're like, okay, well this is something that isn't our fault. <laughs> Not that many of the other things were, but you know what I mean? A part of me wants to contact the architect. So since our architect is not responding to any of our messages, he, I don't know if he has my phone number, but we're thinking about like going through one of our neighbor's phones and telling him, oh, we're interested in a little project will you meet us here and then give him like our old house address and then meet him outside when he comes to show up and be like what give him a little piece of our mind you know what I mean so anyway if you're wondering yes we haven't been in contact with a lawyer finally and it's gotten to that point and it's just so crazy uh, the other solution I guess I should share with you <laughs> 
solution number two is to make the hallway go around. I'll show you. So instead of continuing the hallway here, we would go around, make a wall here, and then have a wall, hallway that way, and then go that way. That's what I said too. I said, um, that doesn't sound like a solution to me. <laughs> I'm sure it will all get worked out, figured out, but it is frustrating to deal with. And it's also, like we just want the project done. We're just excited about it. And it seems like literally every step along the way, there's been an issue. And frankly, I'm just over it. I am like losing patience. Not much I can do, really other than continue to be patient. So I will send our architect an email because I haven't had correspondence with him yet. And I will be kind because you catch more bees with honey, right? So I'll try that and if that doesn't work out, we're gonna pounce. Meet me in the parking lot. That's what I'm gonna say. All right, I'm gonna do this laundry. It'll all work out in the end. It's just a matter of at what cost. And also who will pay for it because I'm sure he has insurance and this is why you get business insurance just in case mistakes are made okay he needs tinders so i'm gonna take a little break from laundry lunch is also a point of contention for me along with breakfast um i find that if i don't know what's for lunch like if i don't have leftovers from the day before or something i just end up snacking i call it grazing and i'm like oh i'm just a grazer but really I'm just too lazy to like make myself a meal. So then I end up just snacking on way too much stuff and not even feeling full because stuff I'm eating isn't satiating. So I'm going to throw together, oh crud, I'm gonna throw this together too. Oh, okay, a couple more things I'm going to make. They should be really easy to just throw together. One of them is, I actually forgot, it's a chicken Alfredo dish that I feel like I showed you a picture of. It's on the Instagram. I'm gathering ingredients for it, and I'm realizing, wow, I that, like what did I think? I was just gonna have all the ingredients already. I didn't put this on my meal plan, so therefore I didn't make a grocery list of the things that I need. I need cottage cheese. I don't have that. What the heck? What the heck? Cottage cheese and Alfredo sauce. And now I'm wondering, do I just have a jar of Alfredo sauce? No, I don't. I don't normally buy it. And I don't even have normal milk. I do have rice milk and I think that would work. I did pick up Parmesan cheese. That's the only thing I don't have is the cottage cheese kind of weirding me out, but I'm sure it's gonna be great. I'm also thinking this might be good to put in the kids' lunches tomorrow too. Just a quick, easy, like, it's pasta, it's kid friendly. And I do love these pastas. These are super fun, but then also, these are some of my favorite too. And Trader Joe's sells them for like $2, which is crazy. All right, so I tidied up a little bit. I guess um, maybe I'll text Alex and on his way home he can pick up some cottage cheese curd. So now I'm gathering all the ingredients, the tortellini chicken salad. So now I'm realizing that uh, can you see him over there? <laughs> that uh, I, like did I even make a grocery list? I need a red onion, uh, don't have that. So I have everything else though, so I'm probably just gonna throw it together. It's just a side dish for tonight, so it's not, and then also lunch tomorrow for me, just I like to pick at it, it's great. I made it once before for a family get together and it was supreme. I'm not even sure when this expires. Oh, there it is. Woo! We made it just within a few days. Awesome. I knew, like, this stuff stays good for a long time. What kind of chemicals are in it to make that happen? Don't ask me. But I'm just gonna cook these up, boil some water. They are the tortellini. I only get these at Costco. Otherwise, they're crazy expensive. Maybe if you get them in the frozen section, they might be okay. So for the pasta salad, I'm gonna do a red bell pepper, a green bell pepper. I've got some fancy, fresh Parmesan cheese. Salami, the dinner cut way, some, whatever that is, Italian dressing, and then parsley. And I need a red onion, and then obviously the pasta. First thing I'm gonna do is cut up a bell pepper. I'm just gonna dice it up. There's something magical about a green bell pepper. Reminds me of like veggie trays growing up. I never knew other color bell peppers existed until I was an adult. And I was like, wait, there's a whole new world of flavor. And then a red bell pepper too. I think yellow is my favorite. 
but I love the crunch that this gives to a pasta salad. And then I have this huge stack of salami. I get it in the dinner cut and I'm just gonna dice it up. And then I have a handful of parsley that I'm just gonna chop up too. Doesn't matter how big my cutting board is, never big enough. I'm just gonna grab everything and throw it into a bowl. So for the Alfredo, I'm just gonna start cutting my chicken into chunks. I only got three pieces from my package. I know, you know, I don't know. Sometimes I get two, sometimes I get four. It depends. Um, this is more of a lunch, so I feel like a lighter portion is gonna be just fine. Just gonna season the chicken really simply with a little bit of salt and then pepper. Italian seasoning is a must. And a little bit of paprika for a kick. And I just do it straight on the board like this and then I kind of mush it all together so the seasonings incorporate. It's a way for me to uh, season the whole chicken while saving a dish, I guess. So over here, I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to a skillet. Once it starts popping, I'm gonna add my chicken. Could have been a little more popping. Time to flip it. That's got a really nice color on it. Now I'm gonna turn the heat down. So for the chicken, I'm just gonna throw it into a bowl. So for the Alfredo sauce, this is so bizarre. I am not a fan of cottage cheese. You need two cups of it for this sauce. What am I gonna do with the rest of this garbage? Oh, I can make the egg bites. I think cottage cheese is an ingredient that I was missing last time. And then two cups, oh gosh, I think two cups. Let me reference of milk. I don't know if my food processor can hold all this. If I had a blender, I would use that, but I don't. Oh yeah, this should be good. Just some seasonings now. Some salt, some pepper, some garlic powder, and onion powder. And then half a cup of Parmesan, but I'm gonna add that in the end. Let her rip. Two tablespoons of cornstarch, I forgot to add, and then half a cup of the Parmesan. That'll thicken it up. All right, perfect. If you are skeptical, so am I. Throw this onto a skillet. Woohoo! That's a lot of sauce. And uh, let it thicken up a little bit in here. If you're wondering about the sauce, it is so creamy and dreamy. Amazing, 10 out of 10. I'm just waiting for the noodles to cook and then I'll combine it all together. Really simple. So with the chicken, I'm just gonna throw in all the pasta. Woo! That's a lot of pasta. Maybe I should have mixed the sauce in the pot because I have all this sauce that I need to mix in too. That is really creamy. Well, that's looking mighty fine. Looks like a nice dinner. You just need a little, actually, a meal planted for lunches, but just add a vegetable and you're good to go. Oh my, this stuff. You guys, 42 grams of protein in this crap. 42 grams of protein in chicken Alfredo. Is that a joke? Thank you, cottage cheese. I, and 10 grams of fat. That's it. Only 10 grams of fat in cottage cheese. In cottage, no, no, in uh, chicken alfredo. Anyway, it was great macros if you count them. If you don't, it was great tasting. And yeah, I would make this again for sure. It, to make it at least a little healthier, come on, no shame. For the pasta in here, I'm just going to give it a mix. I've been letting it cool down. And then I did cut up a little bit of red onion. I love the flavor of red onion. This adds so much, so much great flavor. And then about a cup of this uh, dressing. This is my favorite dressing. So good. Mix that all in, chill it, and serve it at a party. Or I'm going to serve it as a side dish, and it's going to be a bangin'. It's going to be a bangin'. It's gonna be a banger. A banger. Whoop whoop. Also, I realized I didn't show you what this looked like. I should have cut the bell peppers in bigger pieces. I don't know what I was thinking. I feel like last time I made this, it was better, but I think only because I had the bigger chunks. Because the pasta salad is chunky, so you wanna keep things uh, in like sizes. And so that was a mistake on my end. I, I really diced up those peppers and I should have just not diced them up. Um, okay, and then I'm adding a little bit of Parmesan cheese to the top, and then I give you a, a second look on it. Ooh, wow, doesn't that look so much better? <laughs> anyway, I don't know if I updated you on the, the wall that needs to be broken down, or like they're trying to do this, this whole pillar that like, oh my gosh, I can't even. Okay, so it's been a couple of days. We had a second opinion come out. We've all, we, like, it's been, it's been nonstop. So, the... 
solution to that is still unresolved. But we took it into our own hands and like we measured. First of all, I Googled like what because I, I literally can't trust anyone these days. Like I who I it's like I have to do my own work. OK, because that load bearing wall was in the original plants for the ha- like it was overlooked by people who literal job is supposed to be looking out for this. And we asked specifically, can this wall be torn down? Is this a load bearing wall? Do you know what I mean? So that's annoying. Any, anyway, so deep breaths. <laughs> um, we had people come out, uh, but we took matters into our own hands. Alex and I, we just like took out a tape measure. I Googled what is code for a hallway. How big does a hallway have to be, right, to pass inspection? 36 inches is the answer to that. Well, wouldn't you know it, this space that we have is 36 and a half inches. If you take into account drywall on either side will be like a quarter inch or half inch, whatever it is. Well, whatever it is, we have that space, we think. (laughs) We had one contractor come out and he said, yeah, it sounds great to me. I don't know why they're trying to spend, you know, make you spend all this money. Well, of course, they're trying to like, whatever, but... He was like, that sounds like a solution that's going to save everyone money. Heck yeah. Thank you so much. So we just have to get our contractor on board. And of course, it's like almost the weekend. So there, we're not, it's been a couple, it's, it will be a couple days until we hear back from them. So short story long, hopefully we'll be able to make it happen. <laughs> I'll keep you updated on that too, obviously. The greater news is a lot of progress was made in the bathroom. So I'll share that once it's complete it will still be a couple more days until he's all finished so I'm really excited about it I think it's gonna look great (laughs) I say with a question mark um okay so now that that's done everything will be fine like just it's just a little annoyances in life and that's the stuff that doesn't even matter you know what I mean like all of this little oh the addition oh wah your addition wah you know what I mean like I understand (laughs) it it's not lost on me I understand but I also realize like that's just it's just little things in life like that. That's not what life is about. It like that stuff will pass and I'll forget about it. It won't be a big deal in a year, in two years, unless they're still building. And then I'll be like, <laughs> we got to move. Um, anyway, that's what I'm trying to say is like stuff like that. It's that's not what life is about. And there's way more important things to worry about to spend our time and energy on. But, uh, you know, it all ties together because we're building the addition for our family. And that's what really matters. So anyway, we're doing our best over here. And everyone came together in the kitchen to help me put the dishes away. I think. Did Wentworth help? Where was he? Sometimes his job is to do the silverware. Sometimes he does it. Sometimes he's, uh, you know, a wall. So finishing up here. And Meredith's favorite song is popular by Wicked. And so every night she has me dance with her. Mom, will you dance with me? She's the sweetest little thing. So sometimes we dance. I just love it. Like how she has her arms out to the side, just like free and swinging and twirling. And it's just the best, right? And I wasn't feeling well. Okay. But I still, you got to push through. Your kids don't care if you don't feel well. You, they All they care about is like dancing to popular when you're cleaning up the kitchen. <laughs> That's all she wanted to do. So normally it's like a three rounder. I was getting real dizzy. I was getting real lightheaded. I was like, Meredith, I don't know if I can do another one. I need to hydrate. <laughs> so we hydrate a little bit. Um, anyway, I mean, you'll see us dancing a little bit. Oh, and this little booger. He's so stinking cute. If you see at the end, if if I don't point it out when he actually does it, because sometimes I just look away or play with something while I'm doing these voiceovers. But if you see, he'll like clap for us. It's so adorable. When I was editing, I noticed that. And I was like, oh my gosh, he's the cutest little thing. Oh, Wolfgang is just getting so big. I can't, he's almost one. Oh, I, where did the time go? Oh, where does the garden grow? That's from Grease too, by the way, if you don't know. Perfect pitch I've got going over here. (laughs) I don't know where that came from. That song has been stuck in my head. Reproduction, reproduction. I don't know the words, actually. I should probably Google them or something. But it's so good. If you have never seen Grease 2, I highly recommend it. Probably not a kid's movie, but I definitely watched it as a kid. Like, I'm talking like nine years old. I don't, 
I was like running around my house singing reproduction. Like, well, what's the other one? A cool rider. Oh, cool rider is so good. Anyway, so if you've never seen that movie, I 10 out of 10. I 20 out of 10 recommend it. I don't know even where you can watch it, but I'm sure you can Google it. I'm sure you can like buy a bootleg DVD or something these days. If you have even have a DVD player, which I don't, I don't have a DVD player. Our power went out. Oh, not our power. Something went out. Oh, our Wi-Fi went out. It goes out all the time. But I actually think it went out this day. But one time I was looking for, I was said, oh, let's just put on a movie. Oh, except for we don't have a DVD player. <laughs> so that happened. But anyway, life goes on. And thank goodness for like phones and the phone internet. I don't know how anything works, but I have internet on my phone and that's all I know. Sometimes, most of the time I do. Okay. You see that? Like arms sprawled out, wings wide open. What's that song? Wings. Wind Beneath My Wing by Bette Midler. Ooh, that's a good one too. Oh, there he is coming. <laughs> I just love it. Okay. So anyway, finishing up my kitchen. I always like to go to bed with the tidy kitchen. And I've been doing it more and more these days because I, um, well, one, I'm getting my life together. <laughs> nice to meet you. My name is Kimberly Whisk and uh, I'm taking it step by step. Ooh, baby. Gonna get to you. Is it to you or with you? Girl. Man. Okay. The number one boy band of the century. Anyway, so these garbage disposals, I didn't really know how to use it. I've used it a couple of times. I feel like the first time it worked, the instructions are just so hard to read because the print is like minus five. I'm gonna listen, my eyesight isn't great, even with my contacts in. I'm like struggling. I need to just buy a magnifying glass and just do away with it and just do it and live my life because I can't, I was really struggling to read this. Sometimes I take a picture of it with my phone and then zoom in. Yeah, man, it's that bad. Anyway, so I finally figured out, it said, turn the disposal on. I, and as soon as I read that, I thought, okay, let me, let me do that. And then bubbles galore. Hey, it happened. And not only was it cleaning that side, it also cleaned the other side. And it was great. So now that I know how to use it, I might buy more of these. But no promises that I'll, see, she's grabbing my hand again. She's like, ready for a third round. <laughs> so, um, Anyway, now that I know how these work and that I don't have to use the instructions every time, I might buy more of them, but I, no promises that I'll actually continue to use them. I mean, it's it's baby steps, right? One step at a time, and I'll get my life together eventually. Maybe, probably not. No promise. I realize I never made an outro. Don't pay attention to anything that's happening behind me. I'm also in the middle of eating. So rude. But that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching, hanging out with me today. I'll see you next time. Bye.